welcome to this video where we're going to go over the fader box and utilizing the user remote script sends a and what we have is a fully built fader box and one of the resources that you can get by downloading the information on the actual product page on our website uh, once you download this from the fader box you'll get product resources follow that to software resources and then you'll see ableton user remote scripts for the fader box there's a bunch of different ones in there this video we're going to be going over the livid sends a box now where this needs to live is it needs to live in library library and this is your user library. This can often be hidden on new operating systems in the Mac. If you need to find it, it's a quick Google search to make that appear. So then you go, uh, you, your username, library, preferences, Ableton, the version of Live that you're using. I'm using Live 9.2.2. And then you'll see user remote scripts. And all you need to do is just grab this Livid Sends A box. And we're going to go ahead and just copy that over into the user remote scripts. Now, I already have it over there, so we won't need to do that. Um, what we can do is look at our um, README, which is going to give you the instructions that I just said. So this is going to get you up and running. So let's take a look at Live now. And if we go to Live and I look at the preferences, you'll see that I have the control surface as Livid sends a box. Uh, the input and output is a Brain Junior, as there's a Brain Junior in your fader box. And then you can see the MIDI ports are track and remote are both on uh, on the um, input and output for the Livid sends a box output and input. Great. So what I've done is I've created a little dub set here. Uh, you can see that the script is working correctly. I'm turning up the send A on each of the channels. I only have seven instruments because I wanted to create a dub set. And I got a little interesting with this one. So this one doesn't have a channel, but what I've done is I've mapped it to a send, to this verb delay send. And you can see as I bring this up, it's actually turning down the delay. But if I go to the, the verb, it's turning up. This allows me, uh, utilizing this utility plugin, to actually switch between a verb and a delay on one return. And I have it after this volume, the volume that's coming in on, on, uh, on the actual um, channel coming in here, because this will allow the, uh, the tails of the verb and the delay to actually play through, which is going to give me a better dub. Uh, the other thing I've done is I've mapped out the uh, mutes on uh, on the channels. You can see I can kind of mute and unmute anything that I'd like. Um, this gets me up and dubbing really quick with a controller that I've built for $99, a keyboard that I already have, and Ableton Live, uh, just getting creative. Super fun, so let's dive in. Mm -hmm. 